What's up, y'all? I am Marcus, also known as Epic Name Bro. Welcome back to Zfy in a Chat. Um, we're gonna pick it back up with Cool Sir Dash here. Uh, by the way, I just want to say I people were asking me last time and have been asking a lot recently. I actually prefer it when you guys call me Marcus, uh, and my name is spelled with a C. I don't care if you spell it with a K. I, I know who you're talking about. It's no big deal. Today. Uh, I have a couple of things I want to chat about. I am going to talk a little bit about Dark Souls 2, so for those of you who are trying to avoid that sort of conversation, I understand if you want to cut out now, but I will say that I'm not going to be talking about spoilery stuff. I'm uh, only going to talk about uh, a couple of stats. One second, let me turn this volume down on the TV so I can hear myself a little bit better. There we go. Uh, I'm, I'm only going to talk about a couple of... Uh, stats mechanical elements of these stats so that's all uh it's the first thing i'm going to talk about though so if you're going to cut out uh see ya <laughs> sorry all right so a lot of people are really freaked out right now a lot of people are flipping out uh first of all i just want to say the the the, the beta we keep calling it beta 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 it's a network test. It was mostly, primarily a network test. If you look at the website, most of the goals listed are related to uh, testing out the network. Uh, it says it right on the damn title screen. It says network test version. That's that's what it was. It's what it is. It's, that's what it is. So we can't read too much into the gameplay balancing and things like that at this point. But uh, you know, a lot of people were, were are still worried. You know, people freak out. That was uh, once again input delay there. Uh, people people worry about stuff, and the thing that's got a lot of people worried is uh, stun locking in PvP, uh, because in, in the in the beta in the network test, it was whoops, there we go. It was really easy to combo somebody to death if you got the first hit on them. It was very easy to combo them to death, so people were really worried about that. Now, I don't think it's actually going to be such a big concern. Uh, Peeve, uh, Peeve, <laughs> Peeve recently uh, uploaded his uh, beta video, his network test video, where he did a ton of PvP and he was only increasing his agility stat, which that's actually exactly the same thing I did. I only increased my agility stat because I was wanting to know how that new stat was going to work out. And uh, he, he discovered something really interesting, which uh, I'm going to tell you about now. And uh, you know, you guys can go check out his video. I'll, I will put a link to it if you want to go watch his footage. Um, and the thing that he discovered was that raising agility actually increases your ability to uh, perform actions more quickly. Like raising your shield or parrying or things like that. So what he found was that after he got hit for the first time, when the person went to hit him the second time, uh, he was actually able to, uh, shit. Woo! Hold up. Whoa. Can't trade with you, huh? <laughs> he actually found that after the, the first hit of a combo, if his agility was high enough, he was actually able to raise his shield and block subsequent hits. So he was able to escape stun lock by having high levels of agility. That means that you can use that stat to avoid agility. So one of the things I've been talking about is how I was a little bit worried that agility might be uh, too overpowered, that everybody... Uh, might be wanting to have just tons of agility on them all the time But the more I actually thought about it, uh, this is really cool because they also have reworked uh, vitality uh, and Endurance and the way they did this vigor is now a stat <clears throat> that increases your HP. It's a new stat called vigor Vitality doesn't increase your HP anymore. Now. It just gives you more equip burden like endurance does not do that anymore. Endurance only affects your stamina. So you have these two stats. You have agility that affects your action speed. It allows you to have better rolls, uh, move faster, uh, quicker parries and blocking and things like that. 
Uh, Vitality increases your maximum equipment load, which lets you hold more weapons, of course, but uh, more importantly, heavier armor. It lets you have more poise, more defense. So you have these two different ways to achieve uh, the ability to survive stun lock. You can either raise your agility to the point that if you get hit with the weapon, you can then attempt to block the next hit. Now, you can't get guard crushed. That, that's an important element in all this. So you're still going to need endurance for the stamina. Uh, but on the flip side of it, you could just raise your vitality so that you can poise through the first hit or two. Whoa, you almost got me, son. You almost got me there, man. Watch out. You ain't gonna take too many hits of this, man. Uh, but one of the interesting things to me was that uh, roll speed seems contrary to what I first believed, initially believed, it's not just based on agility. It is also based on your equipment burden, like what percent of your maximum load you have, just like in Dark Souls. So you can achieve faster roll speeds. Now, it, not not talking about parrying and blocking and general movement stuff, but you can you can achieve faster rolls and I actually I, movement too, I believe. Faster movement and roll speeds either by increasing your agility or increasing your vitality so that you're not using so much of your maximum burden. And I just think that is really cool that you have the two different ways to do things. So that it's really kind of starting to accommodate two different playstyles. I already did that barrel, okay. It's starting to accommodate two different playstyles. One that is light and fast and can block quickly, can parry quickly, but focuses on blocking and parrying to try to escape from stun locks or things like that. And another one that is focused on just being able to tank hits. But, uh, yeah, and I just think the whole game is going to revolve a lot more around spacing. I already mentioned that before, because a lot of attacks have pushback on them. So even if you get put into a, a stun lock situation, if you are at the maximum range of your opponent's weapon, they're only going to be able to hit you once, maybe twice, before you get pushed out of range by the pushback. Uh, I'm not too concerned at this point about how the balance is looking. It's it's looking really interesting at this point. And it was a great nerf to Endurance, which Endurance is just like, it's fucking almost required on any build. Like, if you want to do a PvP build, or if you're doing any sort of serious PvE build, like whatever you're doing in Dark Souls, you want Endurance. Ah, shit, I knew that was going to happen. I should There we go. And wow, fuck. There. Fuck there. So yeah. I I I see the potential for uh, endurance to be a more interesting stat because you it's strictly gonna be based off of well how much stamina do I actually need for what I'm doing. Uh, especially if spacing is more important and, and you know you're gonna have to think about how much stamina you really really need because now you have a, these other stats to worry about. I shouldn't have swung like that. Oh it worked out. Uh, you got vitality and uh, agility to worry about in addition to other stuff. So. Fuck. And resistance looks to be more important as well because uh, armor is going to scale a little bit so I don't know I just I'm not really terribly concerned about the the stun locking issue that a lot of people have been expressing I say expressing concern a lot of people have been freaking out about it and it's just way too early to freak out over just this little network test that's all so yeah that's going to end the Dark Souls 2 section of my rambling and I should talk about what I'm doing in game. I decided to clean up some loose ends here um, before we head down into, or before we head up, I should say, into Sin's Fortress. Uh, I thought I would go around and 
get my very important mail broker. This is crucial to our plans. I, I anybody, if you don't get a mail breaker, you just you're doing, no, you're not playing the same game I'm playing at all, man. Mail breaker is just vital. It's just the best thing. Now you guys know I'm being sarcastic there. I I I have to be careful with my sarcasm and with my tone of voice and just my general language choice, I guess, in general, because uh, I, I recognize that not everybody who is watching these videos, shit, not everybody who's watching these videos is from the U.S. or speaks English as their first language or anything like that, so context is important. I need to make sure and explain my context if I say something ambiguous. The other day I said, CON! Like I was uh, angry at Khan over something, and I think a couple people actually thought I was blaming Khan for something, but I was just joking. Rear Khan's a cool guy. Alright, die. I'm expecting Capra to be a dickhead, at least for the puppy phase. After we get past the puppy phase, it should be okay, but. Get those stun locks. I wanted the target shield, actually. I know we don't have the agility for it now. Agility, listen to me, I'm already in Dark Souls 2 mode. I know we don't have the dexterity for it now. But for one more point of dexterity, uh, and its uh, weight is only two, I think it is a good addition. I mean, maybe. Maybe I go with a completely different build. Who knows? Who knows what I'm going to do with this character? Nobody knows. Nobody fucking knows. You might think you know, and maybe you do. <laughs> Tink burn. Throw something at me. Aww. I, I would like to get the Hollow Thief armor. Oops. There we go. <laughs> spam it. Just spam it. I would like to get the Hollow Thief armor because it's just a really cool set. And it feels really good to be playing Dark Souls this time of year. That's something I mentioned in the comments to the other video. Uh, I really like playing certain games at certain times of year I like I associate games with seasons for some reason and I, I don't know if it's it's not always the first season that I, I played the game that I associate with but maybe uh, how can I say the one that I, I played it the most when I have the most memories attached to the game uh, and for some reason it's just a seasonal thing for me I'll open up this shortcut and for me of course, Dark Souls is just an autumn game. It's fall. Like, this time of year, this is Dark Souls time. Of course, obviously, I played Dark Souls in late summer, early fall for the first time. So, that that's exactly why that is. But, it's very autumn. Other autumn games. Um, let's see. Other autumn games. I guess Valkyrie Profile 2 is another one. Breath of Fire 2, I mentioned it last time, it's because it's on my mind, it's an autumn game for me. Uh, we actually, we're, we're gonna get a little bit of this. We're gonna, look, we're gonna get a little bit of this. Other than that, I guess there's not really anything I want. But we are gonna keep those mosses. Keep those handy. But Breath of Fire 2, I, I just remember very vividly this one cold autumn morning. I was at my grandmother's house, and everybody's still sleeping. I, I just woke up really early for some reason, and uh, it was really cold. I was sitting by the fireplace trying to warm up. Yeah, in Mississippi, it's fucking fireplaces, but... Uh, and just, I was playing on GBA. I was playing on Game Boy Advance, and I was just really... I was loving it, man. And for me, it's just all It's an autumn thing. Ah, I tried that. There we go. Alright, come on. Bam! 
Oh, that's a stagger. And yeah, he doesn't like fire either, so. One more hit to do it. Oh, but I missed. There we go. <laughs> I was expecting a little bit more trouble from Capra, uh, particularly the puppy dog phase, but you know, if you got, I, look, I'm rocking the wolf ring, so the dogs can't really stagger me so easily. And I got the ring of steel protection, 28 vit. <laughs> I guess I shouldn't have been expecting too much difficulty out of that. I think what the, what the dog, the first dog clips me, right? So even if you don't have the ring of steel protection and all that vit or whatever, getting hit by the dog one time, not really a big deal as long as you can take him out quick. Some other games that I associate with seasons. Let me think. Chrono Trigger is a spring game, like winter, spring, and it's partly because of that that uh, the the image, the promotional image that has them fighting Hecron in the snow, which is something that that's not the setting you fight him in in the game. But the thing that always I loved about that was the fact that the characters were wearing like winter clothing. And obviously, once again, that's not in the game, but it just kind of I don't know, it added to the uh, the feeling of that world, the atmosphere, with that Toriyama illustration. Fuck, I wanted to... I, I always try to use back steps effectively, but I always fail. Partly because if you're holding backwards to walk back and then you try to back step, you're liable to end up with a back roll. You know, whatever. Let me see... Yeah, whatever, let's go. Fuck, I totally missed that dog. Kill it. There we go. Oh shit. Nope. Oh, I got a hollow coming. I got a hollow coming. I got a hollow coming. No, no, no. Oh shit. It is getting real. Let's get. It's getting real. Fuck. Can't see. Alright. Oh, roll. Alright. Alright, All right, we're okay. We're actually okay. We're... Okay. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. I ain't playing real well, but everything is fine, and you can die. Yeah. That's for the sack, baby. Asshole Torch Hollow. There we go. Spam it. <laughs> you don't hit it the first time, spam it. Uh, Ring of Steel Protect. Uh, if I remember correctly, uh, in Dark Souls, physical defense, It the way it works, it just it's a lot more effective against weak attacks than it is against stronger ones. So, I'm actually not going to bust that for a change. So these guys that aren't hitting us very hard, uh, our defense reduces a lot of the damage that they actually do. What do we have left down here? Did I, did I just fuck up all these guys? Looks like I fucked up all those guys. That little... Fuck, lock on. Little thing that I was doing right there, that's actually from my, my baby's little play gym has a, a music box. And those the songs on the music box, that damn input delay, man. That's because I tried to take action while I was out of stamina. He was in, he had already decided to use that close range melee. So he was just gonna continue coming forward until he got it off. Sometimes once the enemy decides to do a move, they are going to continue with the pathing that's going to allow them to do it. Like, they're not going to stop until they manage to pull it off. <laughs> oh, man. Did I actually land an attack of opportunity there because of 
her falling, or was that just that's just how much damage that does? Yes, yes, yes. You here, open, open here. Please, you must help me. Yep, that's why we came here. That's one of the reasons we came here. Thank you. I would have been a supper without you. Been eaten alive. I started to think. Thank you. Thank you, dear. Don't worry, bro. I think they would have killed you first. Or the great spot. I will not forget my dead to you. Oh, hello. oh, hello there. Oh, hello there. Let's see. Other games that I relate to seasons. Valky Profile is a summer game to me, as is Xenogears. Those games, I just, for some reason... Xenogears, I always think about, like... I always think about green fields and uh, kind of a cloudy sky. Just, I don't know. Can't explain it. Do you guys have any sort of games that you associate with? Fuck, I always do that. I always do that. I always get greedy going for the... Uh... Okay, this is a poise breaker right here, so I need to use that. There we go. I always get greedy going for the jump off R2, and it always leads me to not land the falling attack on that thing, and then, uh, oh well. Let's see. I said autumn. Oh, winter. The winter. The 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 game I associate. The games I associate most with winter are probably Final Fantasy VII and Final Fantasy Tactics. Although tactics is kind of a fall and everything, but Final Fantasy VII, for whatever reason, to me, that's just, that is pure winter gaming. I'm kind of steamrolling this place. I don't really want to rest at this bonfire. But it opens up the ability to warp. Fuck. Unlock. There we go. But it opens up the ability to warp here. If I didn't rest here, then I could just use Homeward Bone. And... Where, where is that Homeward Bone going to put me at? It's going to put me at the entrance to Sins. Yeah, but I think you actually have to rest here, so... In order to unlock that. And besides, I need to revive to human now that I think about it. Um, we will take one point of dexterity. Don't tell anybody. Don't tell anybody that we leveled that shit up. Don't. Just fucking forget it. Forget it ever happened, man. It didn't happen. Matter of fact, it did not happen. We didn't do it. We don't know We don't know what's going on. But we do know it's going to put us in mid-roll, so time to bear chest this shit again. Unless we have anything lighter, which we might, actually, because... Wow, the black leather armor weighs the same. I... Thief mask weighs the same. Insane, man. <laughs> anyway. <clears throat> There's a little bit of other stuff that I want to do here, though. Uh, I want to get the Armor of Thorns, so we're going to do the Kirk thing. Yeah. I should probably kill that Chandler, and eh, we'll just do Kirk first, and then we'll go get the Chandler. That went pretty well. They all did. Walk around here to trigger this Kirk invasion. Go back campus spot. 
you gonna do, bro? I'm camping your spawn. Goodbye, Kirk. Thanks for stopping in. Humanity acquired. Humanity acquired, which increases our curse resistance, and that's why the curse bar appears on screen. We got Spike Shield, too. That's pretty cool. Uh, now let's go deal with that channeler. I'm gonna leave that motherfucker alive. Result in bad things for us. I want. I have a plan, actually. I want to try to keep Solaire alive through the Gaping Dragon fight. I recognize that it's... God, that's so much fun. I recognize that it's not likely to happen, but we're going to try it anyway. That great axe. Scared the shit out of me the first time that happened. Bam! You guys want to drop some humanity for me? Whoop. Hello. Pyromancy. Alright, hold up. Backstabs. <laughs> One shot. You're a classy, classy person. <laughs> And what do I think? Well, I'm gonna have to revive again because I wanna I wanna get Solaire. I wanna have him try to survive that. But first, let's take out the channeler and recover that soft humanity that we had. We'll use that to revive because if we just revive right away, actually, there's a, no, there is a time limit on invasions. Like how many times you can be invaded consecutively there. So. I guess we're not in danger of getting invaded immediately, but let's get our shit back first, either way. Besides, I don't really want to use one of my humanity items when I have soft humanity on the ground. Oh shit, I missed that time. Oh, no, no, no. Ow, fuck. Look, look, man. Give me my shit! And die! Ring of Steel protection is so fucking boss against, like, weak. Against enemies that shouldn't be giving you trouble in the first place, it's boss. But against actual difficult enemies that can hit you really hard, it's not really... Not really a big deal. <laughs> Where are you at, Chandler? See, these guys can stagger me really easily. Come on, rat. I just want one of them to come fight me. He saw me, and he buffed them. Jackass. Come on, choose to melee me. Choose to melee me, because I'm out of your line of sight. Okay. He's just gonna do that. There we go. And you can die. There we go. Let's see. I'm getting lost here. Back up. Um, 
this way. Oh, wrong way. I always, I always take the wrong turn right there. All right, now let's try this again. Honestly, we're gonna be fast enough getting to the boss that I don't think it's gonna. The person team are gonna have another chance to invade us. Which I probably I'm wondering to invade at this level. My it seemed like it was a lightning rapier, so. I guess there was he probably had a lot of vitality too I don't know if I could have one shot him quite like he did me seven signs everywhere all Japanese players I'm sure Solaire. We got a mission here, bro. Don't screw this up. Alright. Summoning Solaire. Let's go. Come on, slam down. Face me. No, 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 face me. Oh shit! No, don't kill Solaire. Don't kill Solaire. You can kill me, but don't kill Solaire. No, 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 don't kill Solaire. Come on. You can do it, little buddy. You can do it, little buddy. Oh, it's gonna be close. Ah! Fucking high five, Solaire. What the fuck is this shit? Fucker. I said high five. Not stabbed through the fucking heart. Asshole. Oh well, we can pick up my favorite war, one of my favorite sets. I like like I said earlier, I really like that um bandit ho hollow bandit set. I like it a lot. I wish there was a black version. This hard leather armor, the warrior set. Uh, I really like it a lot. I really love the uh, PC mod for it. It's got the black one. I cannot remember the person's name who made it right now. I'm sorry I forgot, but you know who you are and you're fucking awesome because it looks really, 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 really great. Oh, man. Alright, what's next? Oh, shit. I guess we're gonna kill this rat. It didn't have to be this way, dog. I mean, I wasn't gonna, but whatever. Let me hit this bonfire again. I'm actually actively leveling up for a change. Not really something that I normally do, as you guys very well know. I'm very lazy about picking up souls and things like that. And I think that's that's kind of something that you got to do at some point. You got to start to not worry about losing those souls. If if you're getting frustrated, and you're having a hard time with Dark Souls. At some point, I think you just got to say fuck it with the souls. They're not that big a deal. I'll I'll get them later. How about it? Can you wear? No. It's actually pretty cool. And uh, the color is a little bit off, but oh man! Oh no! No! <laughs> That's the lightest shit we got, man. All right. Well, we're bare chesting it, I guess. 
All right, what else did I want to get? Uh, oh yeah. Don't really want to come down here, but... Gotta do what you gotta do. I want to get this playthrough's power within. Because I like power within a lot. It's just basically... It, it really helps you crush bosses, see? Oh, he's already moved. Even before I talked to him here, he's already moved to his next location because I've rang the bells. Alright, that, that's, that's cool. That makes sense. Down into B-Town. Uh, by the way, I just want to express my appreciation for uh, the viewers for this series who have like express some interest in uh the topics of discussion not just dark souls which i like i don't mind if you watch this just for dark souls or whatever or yeah you know i i'm happy if people enjoy my videos for whatever reason but i i'm really appreciative of the people who have been kind of engaging the other issues that i brought up about like tpp or whether certain industries are, are vital to a country that actually need to be protected if free trade's always a good thing uh, those sorts of things constitutional issues in the US I, I realize it doesn't have anything to do with games and I, I also appreciate that some people get on the YouTube to escape you know they use the video games to, to get away from the real world for a little bit I get that too uh, I'm not trying to ruin that for people but uh, sometimes I like to talk about other stuff and that's really just all it comes down to so thank you to everybody who uh, is enjoying those sorts of things or yeah, even if you're not enjoying them if you're not just like giving me negativity about it I appreciate that too like even if it's not for you but you can still watch and not make my life difficult I, I really appreciate that I really do I just wanted to say thank you for it uh, and I know I kind of have some strange ideas about a lot of stuff and I think I, I, I attribute a lot of it to just the experience of living overseas and it's something I would encourage anybody if you're thinking about studying abroad or anything like that I would highly highly recommend that you do it oh yeah it's amazing how deeply you know we, we I think human beings tend to put a lot of emphasis on their their individuality like this is this is me this is who I am this is what I think things like that but it's amazing how much of things is actually you can actually attribute to national character or your surroundings your socialization the play I don't why am I trying to dodge toxic it doesn't fucking matter Uh, and also the media that you consume because the media that we consume it really directly affects our perceptions of reality at least I think it does let's see well we're here primarily for power within but you know, yeah, that we can get the ninja outfit too. I'm just waiting for an invader to pop up here because uh, you seriously have to be a hardcore dickhead to invade this particular section of the game, which is cool with me. I think that's that's part of the damn game's charm. Is that? Ah, <laughs> uh, too soon. If I timed it right, I could use the iframes from the roll to get away from that. But I didn't time it right. Treasure ahead. That's very, very correct. 
Yeah, shadow shit. Can I wear shadow shit? Hell the fuck, yes I can wear shadow shit. Hey, we got clothes now. And... Let's just go with the thief mask. I, I like the brigand hoodie. I gotta have my hoodie, man. But... If we're gonna max, if we're, if we're gonna match with shadow shit, we need thief, thief hoodie. <laughs> I guess thief mask. Calling everything a hoodie now. Oh, here he comes. Oh, he was turned the wrong way. I was fuck. This is not going the way I wanted it to. I knew that was going to happen, that delay roll there. Gotcha. And we're wearing shadow shit, so we got a lot of toxic resist. I forgot about that. <laughs> oh, man, no! Get out of that, get out of that. I was too slow. I was worried about my toxic status and not worried about other important things that I should have been worried about, like the guy that was about to grab me and eat me. Try to eat me. Oh. I should equip. There we go. That's a little bit more intelligent. Fuck yeah. There we go. If you go here and you pick up this treasure, end up pulling this enemy. Once again, uh, just kind of a, a design thing for FromSoft games. Torches generally indicate there's something of interest, that light source. In this case, the ladder is here. Should be another enemy. Oh, it's Blodar got. He did. And there you are. Appreciate that, bro. Whoever kindled that bonfire. Appreciate that a lot. Get the Eagle Shield. Used to be something that people just loved because it's a great shield that has really low requirements. But now it doesn't block 100% of physical damage anymore. It's fallen out of favor a lot. I still think it's pretty good for the heavy deflection type. And for the, the sheer stability of it for low requirements. But yeah, it, it got nerfed. It needed to be nerfed. It was way, way too good for the stats that it required. Way too good. Right now we're here. Another ladder over here. You can see the torch. And there's going to be a pain in the ass waiting at the top of this for us. Which is why we have that, so... No big. What up, bro? <laughs> Didn't even need it. Coming up here, let's just go around. And this is the same area that you normally go to to get out of here. You can see the fog gate down there and the whip way down below. We don't give a shit about the whip, although I'm a little bit excited for how the whip could play out in Dark Souls 2. Oh shit! Oh, I was gonna say, if you didn't die, I'm in trouble. <laughs> knocked the fuck out of you. Alright, uh, I'm kind of torn now as to which way I want to proceed forward. Like, could go back, could press onward. Either way, it's about the same at this point, so... Yeah! <sighs> fuck you, bro. Stop. 
sting like. Oh wait, float like a butterfly, sting like a bee. Liar. <laughs> it's true. I swear. Safe zone ahead. More like highway to the danger zone. Which I guess at this point we can't actually. Oh, now that I think about it, we probably couldn't be invaded in Blight Town at all because we've already killed Miss K, Miss Kellogg's, and uh, rang the bell. There we go. And asshole is nearby. Where are you at, dude? He's around here. The only thing I really don't want to do is fall down onto the side of the hill and then get insta killed for no good goddamn reason. Oh, there he is. Okay. Which almost happened right there. Bitch, please. <laughs> Wanderer set. Another really cool set. Uh, how much does that weigh? I believe it's pretty light. Uh, a little bit, a little bit heavier than what we want. Ugh, fucking clipping through shit. No big deal. Just everyday thing. Clip through what they gotta clip through to get to annoy you. Oh shit, that's not good. Eh. Did you guys fall down here? I feel like there's always that many down here. This particular section is pretty stupid. Alright, there we go. Run! Get to this bonfire. A little bit more. There we go. Uh... This has been one hell of a a backtrack, but once you get into Blight Town, like whether you go up or down, it doesn't. You're still you're stuck in shit either way. That's that's the one thing I don't like about it is like it's really out of the way, the upper part of Blight Town to get power within. Which is probably why they put it there, you know. Reward you for going through a hassle. Fair enough. You know, it's a reward enough that I'm willing to do it, see. So. Alright. Almost out of lag city. Uh, let's pick up the Firekeeper Soul while we're here. You know what? You guys are right. We should do that. I didn't think about it until you told me just now, but you're absolutely right. That's what we should do. Oh shit, I'm being followed by one of those. I'm trying to see if I can do this without actually getting toxic, because I think that would be really cool. But even if I do, it's entirely... Fuck yeah. It's entirely due to the shadow shit. Ah, fuck, I screwed up. 
there. Got him. Well, we're doing okay. Alright. We're out here, lagging like a bitch. Man, this is so bad. This is so freaking bad. There. Man, that's really good. I think there's one more, but... Let's go down and deal with him. Ah. Damn it. Well, it staggered him. The dogs are actually really good at staggering you, too. Alright, I know you fell down here somewhere. Wait, what, really? Hi. No? Okay. Fantastic. So another fire keeper soul for us. Make sure that she didn't get equipped. Oh, I hear you. Gotta deal with this guy first. Ah, shit. There. So I think about your bullshit. Enjoying the view. Don't mind me. Anyway, yeah, it's all powered by one little dog. Alright, so I guess we're done in Blighttown now. I can't think of anything else I want to do down here at the moment. Probably when we when we go back up, we should stop in New Londo and pick up that other Firekeeper soul just while we're around here. No reason not to, I suppose. Although, you know, I could go to the Daughter of Chaos and use this one, but it's just really out of my way at this point, so instead, we'll hold on to him until we get to Anna Londo. See, this is where I really like to kill Lawtrek and just get him killed and out of the way. Uh, the only thing you lose out on is the, the favor set and the dingy set and uh, Anastasia's dialogue. Now, the dingy set's actually really good, but um, normally I just prefer to kill Lawtrek and just not fool with his fucking sorry ass. Oh, we did this time. It's all good. Let's get out of here. These guys have killed me before, by the way. Like, at this point. Got myself killed here. Actually, on a couple of occasions, just being sloppy. Thinking, alright, Blight Town's over. Alright, what's next? And while you're not thinking about what you're doing, getting tore up by these dudes. I'm not even dealing with them right now. Do, 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 do. <sighs> Sorry, that song just it gets stuck in your head, man. It's, it's actually a really quality, it's a really quality thing. The little music box they made. Oh man, I almost forgot. Crest Bro is gonna be down here. Sorry about that, Crest Bro. I actually I screwed up talking to him. I, I forgot that if I talked to him again, he was gonna hollow out on us. 
Sorry about that, Chris, bro. Hold up. A little bit more even ground. And die. Man. Sorry, bro. I didn't want it to end like that either. Oh, wait, there's our S stock. Which, I guess we don't, we obviously don't need, but. That's the thing with the build that we have right now. We can take anything elemental and we can, we can make use of it. Might not be the best, but. Oh, I was like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> I'll pop the transient. Just occurred to me this is a really terrible idea. Because if I get invaded and killed down here, um, it's gonna put us all the way back in fucking Blight Town. Oh well. So let's worry about that bullshit now, ain't it? Nope, no, 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 no. Almost got knocked off. Gotta be careful there. Ah. Come on, come closer. There you go. Thanks for the curses. I'm gonna work, walk slow here because... Yeah. Ooh. Great. That's another Firekeeper soul. So. No! Ah! <laughs> oh. Fuck. Alright. I guess we'll just do another windmills run back. So I'm just gonna put on some windmills. And, uh, I'll put the DL link in the description, <laughs> and that's just what we're gonna do. Sorry about that, bros. I'll, I'll also put an annotation to skip this run back if you want to. Damn. Damn, 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 damn. I was expecting a human to kill me. Little did I know that human would be myself. profile shit right there. Comes in, it's 
it's gonna get your heart pumping. What is it? I'm on cutting and look at me stop fronting, just bounce to the way we sound. You see me rip on crabs. You see what it is, I'm bad. One, two, and they get knocked out. Keep it on too thick and thin. Cause the fall don't make no sense. Rest Running on the stage, I'm fly. The world I'm hustling, yeah. A flow that no one near, ready with a buck to grand cheese. I'm doing what I feel, suck you in good night, sweet dreams. Close your eyes, lights out, sucker, get involved. I'm out to make our crew as strong as Zulu Nation walls. A stone cold rockin' MC on the microphone. Who's for the ones who love the cut directors back and forth? I mean, come across as somebody who I'm not if we haven't even had a chance to meet and get to know. You like rhythm and emotion, poetry explosions. I mix a little bit of it together at a show. Let's go. Does it, does it, does it, does it. When it was back in the day and they were rapping this way I'm inside of my mother's belly wanting out of the cage I kick a stomach to rhyme without a language to find She get excited having people feel what's really inside I had to do what I did when I got out of a crib And I don't mean it as the one you call the place where you live I came to handle my bed so light a candle for them And dry your tears, it will only get me started again I'm on fire like citizens of American terrorism Where losing your job is met with the cost of living is being raised Ah, it's the camera's auto adjust is what killed what me. Means to be a criminal who's getting paid. Fuck that noise, no wonder. On your play, the crackhead will still be acting though they already ate. Life's great, I speak a universal language of peace. Grab a hold of your soul, the moment of thought is released, I'm a beast. As far as I'm concerned, with skills alone, I'll rip any image they gotta win the spitting lyrics till I feel at home. To elevate your attitude, record an artist from Lost on the Hollywood Road with no destination. I'm caught to shaking the demons, feeding off not believing to see me and leave the evil I made until hell is freezing my snot. It's us. Die. You also die. And you. And your friend. And the other one. Sorry for your loss, man. But you gotta let it go. Gotta call Ghostbusters on your ass. There we go. <laughs> That's all I wanted to do. Ah, fuck it. Ah, no, not fuck it. That's enough. That's all I wanted to do. Unfortunately, that's a shortcut to get here, but it's not a shortcut back, if I remember, because there's a little gap. I don't think you can jump across it. Maybe you can. Woo. Been a while since I tried. Anyway. Yeah, I feel a little bit better now knowing that that death was completely due to the autocorrect. Feel, actually, I feel a lot better about that. Fucking camera. So now I've done all the little odds and ends that I wanted to do. So all that's left is go through Sin's Fortress. And up to Anna Orlando. There's some stuff I want to pick up in Anna Orlando. You know? Some stuff that might help with our final goal for this this current build. You know, however this build might turn out to be. I don't know. You know, we don't know. It, 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 nobody knows. Couldn't really... Don't really know what we could really do with it. But, you know, whatever.
I think the Firelink music shouldn't play when uh, Anastasia is dead. I think you should play an alternate theme. That's one thing I would. I really hope that there's just more music in Dead. <laughs> Examine. Dead. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. I just hope there's uh, more music in Dark Souls 2. Like a uh, bigger soundtrack. So I love what they got. I just want more of it. And I don't, I don't, I'm not one of these people who necessarily wants music playing in all parts of the world. Like, when you're wandering around Undead Bird and things like that, I like the fact that it's quiet. I like the fact that there's no background music. It gives the game a lot more weight than it would if there was like some doo -doo 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 -doo, like I often do. <laughs> but, you know, boss fights or uh, hubs or things like that need to have that that music and I like having alternate themes for them depending on the situation But who knows you know, I, I'm just I'm just talking out my ass here just saying things that I would like to see So I got all the stuff that I wanted to get today When I think about it you could just swap this ring of steel protection it gives it gives a grand total of 50 points of physical defense, but, you know, we got this that boosts our equipment load, so this has 23 physical defense, so anything with 73 or more would be, uh, if we could equip something that had 73 or more and still be able to fast roll, then that would be an improvement over the other ring, but instead, I just want to Yes! Fucking awesome. Can I equip gauntlets? Dude, that's oh that's so amazing. What other stuff do what other hand pieces that I got? Do I have anything with poise on it? I don't. That's okay. Fucking great. Oh, and when I said 73, I meant, uh, like, across all our armor pieces. It didn't have to be all on one piece. Like, if we could gain that much physical defense through equips. And when when they're upgraded, you know, it's possible to do. Alright. One more bit. That's gonna wrap up this Vina chat. I'll catch you guys next time. Later.